What's going on guys? Larry Hendricks here for GadgetGrizzly.com I'm here with a demo slash review of iMovie for iPad and iPad 2. So let's jump right into it and uh, just find out if it's really full featured as they say. Now I've been messing with this for a while. I've actually already um, edited a few of my videos and uploaded them to YouTube uh, using this only. Um, except for the upload part, I actually had to use my computer for the upload. But I did a full edit on this here on the uh, smart, I think it's a smart cover unboxing. So really, really easy. So let's jump right into it. Here's your your user interface right up front. It looks like an old movie theater. I think it's really kind of cool. Um, and it's going to show actually, it says come, where it says coming soon, it'll actually show the title of your project. And you can always edit that at some time whenever you have a project down here. So your bottoms down here, you actually have a help menu, which I have used a lot of. Anything and everything that you can do in here will actually tell you how to do it right here. So Apple really hit it on the head, hit the nail on the head with this to make just ease of use. So if you can't figure out how to do it, it'll actually show you exactly how to do it. And there is so much, so much stuff to do on here, guys. As long as you're creative with your editing, there is a lot you can do with this. This is a full featured app. Now the buttons you actually have down here, you do have your add new project, or start new project rather, play your project, um, either email it, uh, you can, I don't think you can do Dropbox yet, but you can email it, send it off, uh, upload it to YouTube, any of that stuff. And from here you can actually import uh, files from YouTube or from uh, iTunes uh, that you've already started editing on maybe the iMac, iMovie. So. If you click that, I should tell you, no projects available to copy from iTunes. So I'm sure if you have an iMac, they, they're probably compatible with each other, the iMovie on iPad and iMovie with the iMac. And then you have your delete button right here if you want to get rid of that project. So let's go ahead and start a project here. All right, you see this nice little interface here. Um, this is actually your, your project uh, window right here. This will show you your, or preview window, window, brother, sorry, preview window. And this is your editing lines. And here's all your videos. Any videos that were shot on the iPad or transferred over to um, QuickTime Movie or .mov, which I'll show you how to do that in another video, guys. It's really, really simple. Uh, will show up right in here as long as they're in your uh, the camera roll and not in your videos. Keep that in mind. So you have all your photos here as well, all of your photos and all of your songs. I don't have any songs in here, but this is where you have your songs. You have your sound effects, which you have a lot of sound effects included. Dog barking, data, dinosaur growl, door closed, comedy whistle, clock tick, a whole just slew of sound effects, um, which I honestly don't use. But if you want to have fun with it and just kind of mess around with it and make a goofy a goofy video, you definitely can. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump right into uh, putting a video on there. Now, when you do it, you're actually going to click on the video you want. Now, if you're not sure if it's the video you want, all you're going to do is just hold it. And there you go, you can actually strum left and right and you can see whether it's the video you want or not, just an edit or a, a preview rather. So I want that one, that's what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that little blue icon to put it down into the the bar down here, the editing bar. Alright, so we have the video in the window. Now, let's say we want to edit it. First of all, let's see if the video works. All right, so if you want to do, I'm, I'm going to show you just a couple really simple things. Uh, split video. If you want to split the video, all you're going to do is click on the video, and you're going to just swipe right down that line. All right, so let's try it a little faster. There you go. And now the video is split. So let's just take a little chunk out here. Boom. Double click it, and delete clip. All right, so now we got a little part missing there. All right, so on any of these video clips, if you double click on them, you have these all, all these options come up of title style, location, it tells you where it was shot, uh, the volume of, of that certain clip, and well, you want to delete the clip. Okay. Now, since we have a cut right here, it actually gives you a little transition bar. All right. Anytime you add a new video or do any cuts, it'll actually come up with a transition bar right there. So all you're gonna do is double click that transition transition bar, and here are all your transitions. You have a cross dissolve. With your timing and you have a theme um, transition. Now, now I'll get the themes in just a second. I'm gonna work on this just for a second here. 
Now let's say, for example, I'm not going to go over all of them, but let's just go, for example, say you cut too much off your video. Like, oh crap, now you have to re-enter the video and, and re-edit it, right? Wrong. All you have to do, you can either go to undo, right up here at the top, or just click on the video once, grab your bar, and extend it all the way back out. You see, it's actually really neat because it's not actually splitting the video. All it's doing is shortening that video and creating another copy and kind of thing. So, you're never actually going to be stuck. You can always fix it. So, I actually really like that. Now, if you want to go down to a little more editing and you want to go to the audio, you're just going to click this button right up here and that will bring up your audio wave. See, I'll show you uh, what the louder parts of the video are or whatever. Just a little sound bar. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a sound effect to it real quick. So let's go ahead and go to music. We'll go to uh, bark. Sure, we put a bark on there. Let's try a bark. This is just a test clip. The dog won't shut up, I swear. <laughs> Alright, so that is your... Uh, th that's where you add, it, add any music or uh, sound effects or any of that stuff. It's actually really, really simple. Once you use it, it's like five minutes. Mess with it for five minutes, guys and you'll start picking it up really, really fast. All right, so, like I said, themes. Uh, let's go ahead and, this little button right here is a little, little gear. We'll actually bring up project settings. Now from here you have all your themes. Uh, you have modern, bright, playful, neon, so on and so forth. I'm not gonna go through all of them. But what that does is it adds, some of them add certain um, transitions, uh, intros, not music wise, just like a, like a fade in or that stuff. Now you can actually turn the theme music off or on because these themes do have musics to them. Musics. Music to them. So um, right now it's the themes music is off. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, now loop background the music. Yeah, that's actually on so it'll constantly loop in, in the back. Alright, now fade in from black? Sure. Fade out to black? Sure. Alright, so there it is. So now we have a full theme on there of neon. Let's actually go and pick one that's a little more fun. The neon one's pretty basic. Let's go ahead and go to modern. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit that. Just put a little split there just so, so you can see the transition. And we'll put a, oops. All right, let's undo that, I was wrong. All right, there you go. So we're gonna split that. Oops, there you go, okay. Now, double click that, go to theme, and let's do a two second just so you can see the transition, okay? So let's try it out now. This is just a test clip to show you how easy it is to edit movies in iMovie for the iPad and iPad 2. It is super easy. All right. Now, the problem we're having right now is the audio is just too quiet, the, the music's too quiet and the audio is too loud in the video, right? Well, that's easily fixable. We're going to do that. We're going to drop down the audio on that, on the video clip itself. So you actually see now that the audio, if you look around the sound bar, the audio has actually dropped lower. Now, let's take the music and let's crank that puppy up. All right, so let's try it now. There you go. Now it's a little too loud for the music, but you kind of get the drift of what's, what I'm trying to say. Um, everything in here is just super simple, guys. Um, most of my videos I'm actually either editing on here or uh, my Windows Live Movie Maker. And what's funny is I actually prefer to edit my videos on this because I just I've gotten so used to it. Was, it's so easy and so quick. I can do a lot more things with it. I I think I really really do. I really like it. It was worth the investment of five dollars. Um, this it's iMovie for five dollars in the iOS market. iOS, uh, I keep saying that it's not the iOS market, the Apple App Store. Sorry guys, the Apple App Store. It's five dollars, four ninety nine. If you do any editing at all, it's super super worth the money. Uh, super easy. I know I'm using super a lot today. I don't know what's going on. Super easy. Uh, and it's it's something that you can actually go to a coffee house or wherever you want to go, the school library, outside, wherever, and you can go and edit your video. So I give this a big thumbs up. I really do enjoy this. Um, so definitely, if you do any video editing, if you do any video editing at all, 
definitely check this house out guys it's only five dollars it shouldn't break the bank but anyways this was the demo slash review for iMovie for the iPad and iPad 2. I am Larry Hendricks for GadgetGrizzly.com and I will see you guys in another video.